In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool repeating freeze frame transition in Final Cut Pro 10. So if I play the video, this is what the effect looks like. As you can see, the subject is kind of sliding on, but instead of just sliding on just like by one cutout, you're having it slide on three separate cutouts, and it creates this really cool like repeating freeze frame transition. So if I play it one more time, this is what the transition looks like, and I'll show you how to create this in Final Cut. So as you can see, here are the two clips. So without the transition, these are what the two clips look like. So again, in order to create this transition, you're going to have to have two separate clips. So what you want to do is you want to head over to the beginning of the second clip. You want to make sure you're at the beginning of the second clip, not in the middle or a couple of frames you know, before. You want to make sure that you're at the beginning frame or the first frame of the second clip. Now once you're at the, the first frame of the second clip, go ahead and click on option F to create a freeze frame. And all that's going to do is it's going to freeze that frame. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. Now the first frame of that second clip is frozen and now it's going to transition right there into the second video. So what you want to do next is you want to select on the freeze frame and you want to Set the duration to 15 frames obviously you can set the duration to whatever you want but in this case I'm gonna set it to 15 frames so I'm gonna click on the freeze frame I'm gonna go ahead and click on control D 15 and I'm just gonna set that freeze frame to 15 frames so if I play the video now that freeze frame is going to last on screen for 15 frames so in my case I'm gonna change to 15 frames of course you can you know, adjust the settings I just want to show you how I created you know the intro don't you don't default exactly what I do you can you know, adjust it and tweak it to your liking but I just want to show you how I I created the intro of this video. So what you want to do next is head over to the effects panel. You want to scroll down until you find mask. So after you find mask, take the draw mask and apply it onto the freeze frame layer. And now all you're going to do is you're going to cut out the subject. Now just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to do a pretty quick cutout. Obviously take your time cutting out the subject and make sure the mask is very precise. But again, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to do a really quick mask because I don't think you want to sit here and watch me cut out the subject for, you know, 15 minutes straight. I'm just going to do a very quick mask and I'm, I'm going to do a whole video eventually kind of doing a master class of how to mask out subjects because it definitely takes a lot of time and it's going to take a lot of practice one tip you might want to do is you might want to zoom in so I can see I can zoom in to like 600% so I can get a more precise cutout but I will eventually do a whole master class showing you how to use the draw mask because it's definitely a very complex tool and it's gonna take a lot of practice but just for the sake of the tutorial you just want to make sure you um, I just did a pretty quick job but the most important part of a freeze frame transition is masking and yes you're gonna have to under, you're gonna have to learn how to mask if you want to do any kind of VFX or any type of video editing so as you can see, I just placed a freeze frame layer on top of the first frame and you want to make sure it ends, the freeze frame ends exactly where the second clip starts. So if I play the transition, this is what it looks like and there you go. You have created a very simple freeze frame transition, but in this video I want to show you how to make it a little more complex, a little more advanced and just make the edit look a little bit more energetic. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on your cutout and you want to basically scroll out to let's say like 50% and now what you want to do is you want to move the subject off the screen. I know the exact number is 1350 so I'm gonna change the 1350 so all you're simply doing is you're just moving the subject off the screen so what you want to do next is you want to click on the freeze frame layer and you want to create two copies so you're just gonna create two copies all I'm doing is I'm holding down the option key and I'm just dragging the clip up so you want to create two separate copies now this is what I did of course you can you know, use different settings or different numbers I changed the middle one to control D 10 frames and then I changed the top one to control D 5 frames so it's basically offsetting by five frames and then I'm going to take the 10 frame one place it right here and then I'm going to take the five frame run and then just place it over there so that's just what I did I offset it by five frames and you want to make sure they're both starting at all three of them are starting at the exact same position which is 1350. So what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of all these freeze frame layers and you're just going to place a keyframe. So you want to make sure you're going to the beginning of each of these freeze frame layers. You're going to place a keyframe because we want the keyframe from 1350 to zero. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to place a keyframe. So I just keyframe the position of all the cutouts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of all the cutouts and I'm going to change the position to zero. So I'm going to change this one to zero. I'm going to change this one to zero and then I'm going to change this third one to zero. So all it's doing is all three of them are keyframing from 1350 to zero. They're just doing it in a different duration. 
So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. You can see the subject is sliding on screen. However, there's multiple different copies. So it creates this really cool kind of like repeating freeze frame effect. And there you go. So you see it lines up. Now again, hopefully this is not too complicated. All you're doing, as you can see, this one's starting at 1350. This one is starting at 1350. And this one is starting at 1350. So all of them are starting at 1350. They're starting at the same number. As you can see, now they're just key framing to zero. The only difference is this is taking 15 frames frames to go from 1350 to zero. This is taking 10 frames to go from 1350 to zero. And this one is taking five frames to go from 1350 to zero. They're both starting at the same position and ending at the same position. It's just each one of them, each one of them is doing it. This one, this one is taking slower. This one's taking a little bit faster. And this one is keyframing as, as the fastest. So it's the same thing. They're both starting and ending at the same position. It's just one, one of them is going faster than the other. And you're basically kind of simulating this really cool repeating frame effect. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. As you can see, there we go. That is a really cool freeze frame transition. Now another really important step if you're doing any type of freeze frame animations is you want to add some motion blur. Motion blur is just going to help smooth out the animation and it's going to add a little bit of blur to your animation which in, in turn is going to just make your animation look a lot seamless. I will put the link to this motion blur plugin down in the description below. It's completely free so if you want to have to add some motion blur there's some paid packs but this one is completely free. As you can see if I play it, see there's a little bit of blur. All motion blur does is add some blur to the animation which in turn is going to smooth out the animation so if I play the video there we go it just has some blur and you've created a really cool really slick freeze frame transition in Final Cut anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from lastly make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins anyways I will see you in the next one peace